Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you're in need of a lot of cleaning motivation because it's definitely in this video. I'm gonna go ahead and just start the video. I wanted to explain to y'all why I've been missing. I did have an accident again, third year in a row. Um, the first year was Colorado. I had a skiing accident. I hurt my knee really bad. The second year was um, the motorcycle accident where I hurt a lot of things really bad. And then this year, <laughs> my daughter wanted to go roller skating for her birthday. And of course, I thought I had it. I was feeling great. Y'all know I had been feeling amazing and I was feeling really strong working out. So I was like, I got this. And I did go around the wall before I actually entered the ring. But as soon as I got to the middle of the ring, I busted my, you know what, and I fell right on my hand, which my arm caught the brunt of the fall. And also my tailbone, my tailbone has not been hurting at all. Um, only when I'm, I just started working out again and it does hurt a little, but I did have to go to the hospital that night. I didn't know I broke it right away. We went to CVS. I got a sling right after roller skating. We left early and uh, I got a sling. We went to the emergency room that night because it started to swell really bad which we didn't know it was broken. So my mother-in-law had rubbed it at the skating rink because she didn't want the nerves to tense up. I had no idea it was broken. I've never had anything broken. So I thought there would be a lot more pain than that. When we got home later that evening, my husband rubbed it as well because it was throbbing really bad. And then uh, shortly after that, it started swelling and we had to go to the emergency room so the emergency said it was a um, non-displaced fracture. They couldn't really see anything because of the swelling. So the doctor came in. As soon as I took off the sling, she was like, oh, I can tell you broke it. And uh, so they took me into x-rays. That was horrible, horrible. I don't know if you've ever had to have x-rays on a broken arm in a hospital, but it was absolutely horrendous, the pain the way they have the machine set up. I feel bad for the people that have to do that to people. Um, I definitely couldn't do it. I couldn't hurt people. Uh, just, it takes a very strong person to be able to do that. But anyway, that was all done. They got the x-rays back. They said they couldn't see anything, but she saw blood in the bone, which meant that it was probably fractured. So that was that. Uh, they put me in a half cast kind of thing and sent me on my way and then I went to the doctor for a follow-up a few days later I got in as quick as I could and they saw me the first time and they said um, it seems to be okay there might be a fracture we're gonna wait for the swelling to go down so I had to go back in 10 days and they still don't know. Uh, they took x-rays again. The doctor said he wants to see me back in four weeks. He said I could clean. He said I could do just about everything. I just can't lift anything until I have full mobility. They said they did want me to do physical therapy. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that because I know a lot of tips and tricks when it comes to uh, keeping inflammation out of my body and doing physical therapy and stuff like that. So We'll see. I'm going to see how I feel in a couple of weeks when my doctor's appointment is ready again because they just keep get, doing x-rays and nobody's telling me anything and that's kind of frustrating because I feel like I'm just spending money. I do almost have full use of my arm now. Um, it's getting better as the days go. I also restricted my diet a ton a ton a ton to make sure I wasn't getting any carbs or anything in there that's going to give me inflammation uh, due to my autoimmune disease I just know to do that and it's actually today I'm great um, so yeah I'm seeing where it goes I like I said I still don't have full mobility it does hurt a little um, I can't extend it all the way you'll see in this video sometimes I move a certain way or do something and I realized I can't do that with that arm yet, but every day gets better and uh, I think I'm gonna have full mobility in no time. Uh, I 
yeah, I don't even think it's broken really. Uh, I don't think I would be able to do the things that I'm doing if it was. It could be. I don't know. I've never had a broken bone. Y'all know that. I was very proud of that. And so, yeah, I'm just kind of waiting to see. I Like I said, I'm not going to keep going and getting x-rays and all this if they're not going to tell me what the heck is up with it. So, they just keep saying that there's still fluid in there so I need to get that down completely if I do go back to the doctor because I don't want to keep doing this um so yeah we're, we'll see where it goes but yeah I got hurt again and I have decided to just I'm gonna be on the bench for <laughs> any kind of activities that are you know dangerous so um no skiing no biking no roller skating because it does it affects me mentally as well being down for all those days it affected my channel a ton my channel has totally went downhill because I could not post anything um so yeah I'm definitely not going to be doing anything dangerous like that I am going to be working out every day doing sprints and all my normal things but I'm not doing anything that's going to put me at risk for getting hurt because it is hard when you're a mom too um, your kids seeing you like that, it's hard for them to see you hurt. And they've seen me hurt so many times lately in the past few years that I'm just, um, yeah, I need to quit being so adventurous. Like even at the hospital, the nurse guy, of course they call me back separately because I walk in with my husband and <laughs> I have my arm in a sling. Um, so of course they had to take me back and question me. And, um, I told him, no, I, I was roller skating and, and I felt pretty confident. And he was like, did you have some drinks to feel confident? And I was like, no, I just feel amazing. And he was like, you're 40. You can't be doing stuff like that, which I don't necessarily believe. I just think that we need to be more cautious. But um, yeah, I'm not, I'm just going to chill out for a while because like I said, I, I can't be getting hurt. I, I love to do adventurous things. Like I ha I was even making plans with one of my friends. We, me and her, were gonna go get our um, license to drive or you know to ride to get a motorcycle. Uh, I wanted my own, and now I just I, I think I'm gonna wait, of course, because I can't do anything with my arm like this. I have to make sure it's a hundred percent better. But at the at the end of the day, I don't know, guys. I don't know if I really want to do it. I, I do enjoy it. I love the thrill. I like being on a bike. I think I would enjoy my own bike. But then at the same time, when I see my kids, when I get hurt, it kind of takes me, it, it takes me aback. And, and I don't know if I really want to put them through anything more than what they've already been through with me. So... <laughs> I don't know, but my spirits are up now. Like I said, I was really depressed after getting hurt because um, I couldn't do anything. And it was extremely painful for the first, I would say the first 10 days. It, it was really, really hard. And uh, I was in a lot of pain. But like I said, now I feel great and I don't really know if it's broken. I can't extend it all the way. So I don't know if y'all know anything about broken bones or fractures or, you know, uh, it's supposedly an elbow fracture. So let me know down in the comments. But they did take the cast off and the doctor told me I can clean and do stuff like that. So my family did help tremendously while I was down. That's always a plus. My kids are amazing. My husband's amazing. So it, it was fine. It, it's just me and how I am as a person. I am very active. I like to be moving. I like to jump up out of bed and get things done. And when that happened, it just kind of just, I felt defeated. Like I had tried so hard. I finally got my health where I wanted it to be. And, you know, I was working out every day and I got all my inflammation out of my body and I was feeling amazing. And then boom, I'm taken out by a stupid accident but like I said, now I'm feeling great and I have totally eliminated everything out of my diet that can give me inflammation or make the problem that I have even worse. And I think it'll heal super fast, super fast with my diet. So we'll go from there and see. Uh, I'll keep y'all posted. But yeah, that's where I've been, guys. I have been I've been in a cast for or a half cast for uh, quite a while and it feels so good to have it off. Like even taking a shower. Oh my gosh. I never want to go through that again. You know, asking my husband, can you wrap me up? Can you wash me? Like at first it takes a long time to get used to only having one arm to use. But um, 
I did get used to it at the end. And then when they took it off, it was just such a relief. And I don't know. I'm just, I'm happy that's all just about over with. I hope it is anyway. And I hope that we don't have any more complications from it. But as of right now, it's not so bad. As you can see, I'm moving it great. I just can't put a lot of pressure on it. And I can't straighten it all the way. <laughs> so there's that. But um, yeah, other than that, I've been great. How have y'all been? Let me know down in the comments. Um, I know I haven't been here in a while. And like I said, my channel took a major hit. I'm just... Uh, I'm so happy to be back, and I'm also going to be posting three videos a week. I'm not sure of the dates yet, but definitely three videos a week, regardless, no matter what, I will have those up for y'all. It's just been, like I said, difficult, but we are back, and we're ready to clean. I have a ton of spring cleaning to do. If you stay till the end of this video, I will show y'all what's coming up in the next video, which is horrific. The laundry room really took a hit. Like I said, the family was great. They were keeping the main area of the house clean. They were keeping the dishes clean. They were washing, doing all that stuff for me. But the laundry room definitely took a hit while I was down. So I'm going to go in there and work on that tomorrow. Um, so y'all will see that video on Sunday. This video will hopefully be up Wednesday or Thursday. As soon as I can get it done, I'm going to get it up to y'all. And um, yeah, we'll go from there. I still have a ton of spring cleaning to do. Are y'all still spring cleaning? I feel like I fell off of that too. I had this whole thing where I was gonna do spring cleaning and um, yeah, that kind of got put on the back burner for a bit. Now I'm just trying to get my house situated, which is what's going on in this video. It My room definitely fell apart. Uh, we also had a nice little Easter egg hunt with the kids and some friends. So we have confetti and uh, grass everywhere in the house. You'll see that throughout the video. I just wanted to do a reset before I started to spring clean and declutter and take stuff out, which is going to be happening a lot. I'm just overwhelmed with stuff right now and it's driving me crazy. I need to get rid of a lot of things again. So we're going to be doing all that very, very shortly. I'm not going I'll be the witch you tell your friends about I'm the crazy ex-girl you pretend you don't know Cause you know I could ruin your life Rumor has it you have someone new She'll regret you like a bad tattoo Cause you'll never change, you'll always stay the same Go on and tell all your friends all about me I don't give a nothing sticks to me So now we're going to clean the bathroom. It was also a complete disaster. I had stuff everywhere, dirty laundry, makeup, hair stuff, everything was just a mess. So I need to go ahead and pick everything up. I have been washing clothes constantly and I always am washing clothes constantly. It just feels like the clothes are never washed. So anyway, <laughs> I think we all go through that too, the just constantly doing things and it just never seems to go anywhere. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and just put all this stuff away. As I said, this needs to be spring clean too. And I feel like I'm constantly decluttering and organizing. And I, I don't know where this stuff comes from. I mean, I do. But geez, it happens so quick. And I'm not even a big spender, guys. I don't even shop a lot. Like, I really, really don't. I, I honestly, truly, I'm very frugal. I always, like, even if I have some extra money, I don't like to spend it because I... I have a bunch of kids and I have a 14 year old daughter and um, she needs stuff just like, you know, I do. And I always put her first when it comes to that kind of stuff with uh, her skincare or if she wants makeup or whatever. If she asks for something, she's going to get it. And 
it's I don't know I don't know where all my stuff comes from I do buy stuff here and there just a couple of things here and there and I guess it just adds up I do love makeup and I do like to try new products and I always think something's going to be better and then you get it and you realize it's just it's not everything's pretty much the same it's just technique and how you apply it and your skincare and all that so don't get tricked into all that it's mainly just um how your skin is is how your makeup's going to be basically and I had it took me a long time to learn that and uh yeah so anyway I just have a ton of stuff that I need to go through and get rid of a lot of these palettes are old that I have I need to get rid of those um just a lot of stuff going on in here that needs to be done my brush I'm losing hair like crazy <laughs> that's probably from losing weight plus dyeing my hair blonde uh bleaching it it's still not done all the way. I still need to do. And oh my gosh, can I tell y'all, for my daughter's birthday, um, she wanted to go to a salon to get her hair done. And I told her yes, um, because I'll do my hair at home because I've been doing my hair like pretty much my whole life. So I'll dye it all the time. I'll cut my hair. I'll do whatever to my hair. I never go to a salon one is anxiety um, about, yeah, I don't know. I just don't like sitting there. I don't like being serviced. They, uh, th I know there's some great, great hair technicians out there, but for me, it's just, it's never, uh, I think they're scared to mess up somebody's hair. So when I want to go blonde, I'm going blonde and I am doing it myself because if I mess up my hair, it's my hair. And I know that they can't take, you know, the responsibility for that. And I understand that completely because they're professionals, but I am not, so I can do what I want with my hair. <laughs> but we did take her to a salon, and my daughter has curly brown hair all the way to her butt, and she loves her long hair. But it was over, well over $400, and I just thought that was insane. It was a birthday present uh, from her grandparents, which was lovely because I was going to do it and I think if my husband would have seen that bill he would have lost it because he's never had to go through that because I don't do that I don't go to those places because of that like when my friends are getting their eyelashes done every few weeks they're going to the nail salon every few weeks for pedicures and manicures I'm like how how do you afford that but then at the same time I you know we also we have our kids in karate a lot of people ask well how do you afford that I uh, we do take away a lot from ourselves to make sure that our kids can have have that kind of you know extra curricular activity because they are homeschooled so I don't do that stuff guys if, if I'm doing anything it's at home and I'm paying uh, the least amount possible I will go to Sally's beauty supply and will I will get professional products that's the only thing like I do have a uh, I, I do have knowledge there and I do do a lot of research before I touch my hair because just the other day I was thinking about going back to my red hair and I had to research it because I remember doing that in the past and the color faded immediately and it turned green and it was because I didn't use a filler so I would have to use a filler and then dye my hair I did decide though, after talking to a few friends and uh, my daughter, it, it, we decided that uh, we're gonna stay blonde for a bit because I've already put my hair through so much. I might as well rock the blonde for a few months, even if it's just all summer. And then when fall comes, maybe start adding some reds in, some low lights and then go from there. But yeah, it's just, it's too much. But anyway, yeah, so my daughter's hair now is blonde, and it's really, really pretty. She cried, though, guys, because it was the first time she had ever done anything with her hair. She thought that they took her curls away because they gave her a blowout. She never straightens her hair. She does not like her hair straight at all, which I love because if I had curly hair, oh, uh, I would love that. My hair is just a weird, wavy I don't know. It's a weird, it's weird hair. Um, it's not straight. It's not curly. It's just, um, it's, it looks like a lion's mane whenever I don't do anything. If I don't touch my hair and I just wake up in the morning, it's everywhere. It's, it's crazy. But, um, she has beautiful curly hair and she thought they took her curls, but she's happy now because it's, it's the color she kind of wanted. She wanted to go blonder. I told her they couldn't lift that much and we were not going to damage her hair. So, 
anyway, that's just a little bit about me. I, like I said, I'm not an expensive person. Um, I, I try to get away with spending the least amount of money possible. And that's just because we have kids and then you have vehicles breaking down. You have, uh, and, and that's another thing we don't do. We don't, we don't buy new cars. I know a lot of people think that's weird, but I love our old Chevy truck and it fits us all perfectly, like perfectly. It's big, it's beautiful, and I love my truck. And um, so we don't have a car payment on either one of our vehicles. Just it's easier that way. I and and I feel like it's safer for us. I know not everybody, you know, uh, agrees with that, but for us, it's safer for our financial situation to not be caught up in a uh, payment every month. So yeah, that's where we're at. And um, but yeah, that's why we are able to do some extra things for the kids. But I mean, it's just getting hard nowadays with inflation and everything. We're we're just struggling just like everybody else, guys. So I don't ever want y'all to think that we're not over here and I can make my house look really pretty. And like I said, when I buy stuff, it's not super expensive. Um, I am on this new kick though, like to buy things that are going to last forever. So I am looking for like some beautiful nightstands, even if I refinish them for my bedroom. Uh, but I want it to be real wood. I want it to be beautiful and I want it to last. Like I don't want to keep buying stuff over and over again throughout our lives. I want to find our furniture and be set with that and um, things like that. Like I do want to start investing more in quality products. Um, but when it comes to clothes and stuff, no, because I'm really hard on them. I do think a good, like good jeans are, are good to have. But um, other than that, no, I, d I don't buy expensive clothes because I'm going to mess them up because I have kids. <laughs> so anyway, that's just a little like, I feel like I'm not open enough with y'all on this channel. I play a lot of music and I just wanted to talk to y'all more and give y'all more insight as to what I'm going through, how life is here. And just to let y'all know that we are just like everybody else and we have our financial issues we have our health issues we have a lot of stuff going on all the time and that's just life and that's just what it is so anyway here's the kitchen and like i said they they really did keep it really clean i told them not to worry about it on this day because i was feeling good and i wanted to clean my kitchen I wanted to use my dishwasher and a lot of times on here like when i get hurt or when i'm sick a lot of people say, well, your family should be doing that. Your family should be doing that. My family does it when I'm not filming. As much as my uh, one of my kids, he wants to be on YouTube so bad. And he begs me, Mom, let me clean with you. I can help you, this and that. I don't like to put my kids on here much because I just it's a weird world we live in. So I do keep them kind of hidden. They don't know. They don't understand the ramifications of being on the Internet at such a young age. They don't understand the stuff that I could go through being on the internet. So I don't like to put them on the internet much. So when I am down, they are cleaning, they are taking care of things. If I ask my kids to do something, they're gonna do it. They have their chores, they take care of animals. They do a lot for me. And um, so that's why it felt good today on this day to clean the kitchen, to clean everything the way I wanted it cleaned and to just do it because I haven't been able to do it in so long. And I guess everybody has different personality types, but mine is I have to be moving to be happy. I have to be doing something to be happy. And I know some people are totally opposite. Like they can lay in bed and watch TV and I envy that. I envy that them making me do that for those days that I was hurt, it was torture for me. It was absolute torture to lay in bed and not do anything. And just, I, it, it kills me. It kills me emotionally. It kills me physically. I can't stand it. So yes, it felt amazing to get up and clean. And that's why my family's not doing it in this video because they had been doing it and I appreciate them so, so much. Uh, yeah, and so anyway, that's where we're at with all that. Uh, the kitchen wasn't too, too bad. There was some dishes here and there. Lovely having a dishwasher again. Absolutely lovely. That takes away so much of the time it takes to clean the kitchen. I can just load my dishwasher, wash what needs to be washed. 
The dishwasher is working really well. Uh, it's a Whirlpool. As y'all can see, I tried to get it to match the fridge. I really like it. It's really nice. I love it and I appreciate it so, so much. But I'm gonna take down some of the Easter stuff. I'm not a big decorator when it comes to Easter and I want to change that. When I was cleaning the room earlier, y'all could see that I had a big old Dell um, computer on my desk that wasn't there before. Um, my in-laws actually brought the monitor and the keyboard down. I already had the computer brain, so I couldn't get my Cricut to hook up to my, my um, MacBook Pro, so I'm going to try it with this computer, and I want to start making stuff again because I feel like that's also um, taking away from me as like just being as happy as I can be. I love to paint. I love to make things. I enjoy it very, very much. So I really want to start doing that again and yeah, go from there, which were, it was my plan before I got hurt <laughs> again because I was feeling so great because I got my health back and then I got hurt. But no, I really want to start making some more decor for Easter, for Christmas, all that stuff, which I have a ton of decor for Christmas and, and fall. But when it comes to like these holidays with Easter, 4th of July, I don't do anything for those holidays. Valentine's Day, I mean, I'm seeing pink blankets, pink pillows. You know, I, I do not... <laughs> I don't have that stuff. Do y'all have that stuff? Like, um, uh, people that don't do YouTube, uh, because I don't go to that many people's houses. And usually when I do though, they don't have Valentine's decorations out or, um, even a lot of Easter decorations. I don't see a lot of that whenever I go to that. I mean, there's a few people, I guess, that decorate for Easter. I think they decorate more outside for Easter. I feel, I don't know. Let me know down in the comments. Do y'all want to see me start making decor for every holiday because I think that would be fun. Um, I did used to make decor quite a bit and I'm ready to get back into it. So I'm going to get my Cricut out, my scroll saw, and we're going to have some fun this year. And I'm not going to be so stressed and I'm not going to be so hard on myself. And I don't know, I just want to have a good time this year and do DIY projects and do things that don't make sense, if that makes any sense. Are just about done in here I'm just gonna wipe down everything it, there were smudges everywhere food everywhere it was pretty disgusting so I needed to clean all the appliances really quick and then I will go to the living room and start cleaning in there just oh my gosh the kitchen's pretty good because we did do the spring cleaning in there I still need to do the spring cleaning in the living room and 
in this video, like today when I was filming this, I went to go fix a curtain in the dining room and there are spider webs everywhere. So the rest of the house still needs to be hit hard with a good spring clean. So we will definitely be doing that in the next video. I think I'm going to be cleaning the pantry and the laundry room. I'll show y'all that at the end of this video. It's, it's horrific, like I said. And um, yeah, we have spider webs everywhere. We have baseboards that need to be cleaned. Just a lot going on. The furniture in the living room is not going to be hard to clean but there is that one piece of furniture that I have utilized to shove junk in so I need to clean that thing out and th there's a lot going on in here too the blinds are filthy it's dusty so when you see this and you're like wow your house is so clean if you are up close and personal it's really not um, the camera does not show everything the carpet needs to be cleaned and we'll be doing that in the next video, like I said. I think I'm going to put those two together. A little spring clean in the laundry, in the pantry, and the living room. Um, and get that all done. And then in the dining room, which there's not much to clean in there. It's just, like I said, the window around the window where I saw the spider webs. And I need to, you know, clean the walls in there and all that stuff. I do need to redo the top of the dining room table as well. And I'm hoping to get to that this year. I always say this year because I never know what's going to happen anymore <laughs> with my life. So I've stopped making like really like close plans. It's like within the year, I'll, I'll just stick with that because you know, the old saying, God doesn't care about your plans. Yeah, for sure. So <laughs> I am going to just put that on the list of things to do this year. I'm really liking the living room right now. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to mess with it too, too much. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of lost when it comes to the living room. I don't know what's put in here. I do with I would like to I, I was telling my husband the other day I would like to add some unique touches to our place because I don't have a lot of personal touches. And I think it would be really cool to um, get some cool images of my kids and the stuff that they are amazing at like I have a musician we have karate we have golf we have things that they are really good at and i would just like to showcase that in some really nice big photos so i it's kind of just i see things in my mind and it's hard for me to explain but i can see it cl crystal clear I, I can see the whole image but getting it to actually work or like explaining it is really hard for me <laughs> I don't know why that is like I, I, I see a totally different living room when I'm looking at it if I think if I use my imagination and think of what I would do to this living room if I had like endless funds you know what I'm saying which I'm sure we all do that but um, I do love how cozy our living room is I love that we don't have the coffee table anymore I don't worry about the kids as much when they're playing around and uh, doing their little karate stuff or fighting or whatever it is that they do um, so yeah, it's nice not having the coffee table in here and it's very comfortable. We do have our movie nights and it's just really nice to chill out in here. I, I do like it. It feels more open and stuff and I, it's just a vibe for me. Um, the dining room. Okay. We can talk about this, the wall back there. I need to do something. And I do have that canvas that I got from Ross a long time ago with the horse on it. I don't know if I want to use that or if I just want to go buy a new canvas. I want to paint something. I want to make something our, of our own there. I want to talk to my husband and see what he would like there. Just some art, something there. So, um, yeah, I, I think I might do that soon. So, we're going to say soon, okay? <laughs> we're not going to say next week or in a couple. We're going to say soon because that's been on my mind a lot to do something in the dining room to give it some more you know, something because it's so plain. Uh, the, the thing with me is I've noticed when I add a lot of stuff to my house, I do start to hate it more. So I'm very particular about what comes in, what goes on the walls, what's, you know, because I'm, I, if I get to go in too much on stuff, I will get frustrated and I won't like it. So I do want to add some more things. I just want to be really thoughtful about what I do and how I do it and all that good stuff. So as you can see, the floor was filthy. I have been sweeping and vacuuming confetti for days. It just seems like it never goes away. <laughs> 
Like, oh my gosh, we made such a mess. It was so much fun, though. It was a good time. It, it was a really good Easter for the kids. They got to do like three hunts this year, which I, I you know, lucky kids, they got to do their hunt with their PMA, their karate class and then we had one hunt here with friends and then we had Easter Sunday our little family hunt and um, it was a lot of fun it was a lot of fun but we're very like that we do not live close to our immediate family um, so we do hang out with friends a lot and stuff like that and we do things with just us you know a lot and it's nice and yeah sometimes we do miss the whole fam family gatherings and stuff I do feel like since um, the pandemic that people don't really get together like they used to. I don't know if that's just me or if that's just, uh, you know, my little, you know, interpretation of the world and what's going on. But um, like my family, I feel like they don't get together really at all anymore. And uh, my husband's family, they still do a bit here and there. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. I know we need to start making plans to do more stuff like that, but it is hard, um, you know, traveling and, you know, affording all that and making sure the vehicles are going to get there, you know, oil changes, all the things. Y'all know how it goes when it comes to that kind of stuff. I'm not far, far from my family, but I'm far enough to where it is. It, it is a whole planned trip if we do go. Um, I'm having a hard time right now being away from my son for some reason. We do talk constantly, you know, um, we text and talk all the time, but it's still like I need to wrap my arms around my son soon. So um, I don't know when that's going to be. We do have a trip planned for next year, but we'll see how that goes. But anyway, guys, I have been yapping y'all's ear off this whole video. And um, I either you like it or you love it, I guess. I'm, I, I don't know. I know a lot of people will come on and say, that's too much talking. Or, you know, I, I, get, I get it from all ends when it comes to this job. <laughs> when it comes to this, like, um, I get a lot of input. But anyway, that's how the house turned out. I absolutely love my home when it's all clean. It's a beautiful double wide. And I'm just so, so grateful for it. And I'm so grateful that this is what I do and I, I just, I don't know. I love my home. I was trying to show y'all Twintel Half Moon, but he's hiding. And um, yeah, so that's how the living room turned out. Like I said, I'm loving the living room vibes right now. I, I really enjoy it. It's just a cozy, open space. And now I'm going to go in and show y'all this. <laughs> After all that beauty, let me show you this. Um, yeah, we have our work cut out for us next week. So stay tuned. I love you all so, so, so much. And thank you for being here and listening to me talk. I've missed y'all. And I love you all. Take care of each other. Bye, guys.